Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, SNS Storm Chasers, meteorologist JoeChaffee.com, WeatherLongIsland.com. As we take a look at uh, what's going on this morning, we'll get the tropics out of the way first, and we've got Hurricane Gaston that continues to be essentially stationary, maybe just start beginning to drift ever so slightly to the north. We have a weak tropical depression southeast of coastal North Carolina, and we have a ragged and rather weak looking tropical depression now moving into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. So when we look at the satellite loops, one of the things that's happening this uh, today with regards to the depression off North Carolina, uh, it looks like some thunderstorms are beginning to redevelop around the center. Uh, if this trend were to continue, um, then we might see this strengthen into a tropical storm. Tropical storm watches are up for coastal North Carolina, uh, which is kind of a course of least regret, being that you have a depression where you do, so it wouldn't take too much to strengthen this to 35 or 40 knots, but it doesn't look like it'll be anything more than a minimal system anyway as it continues a movement toward um, what it looks like on the satellite uh, northwest or north-northwest. So uh, we'll keep a, an eye on things with that today. Meanwhile, uh, this uh, tropical depression, very ragged looking this morning uh, as we have uh, most of the convection to the south of the center across western Cuba and extending down into uh, uh, toward the Yucatan Channel and the Northeast Caribbean, the actual center is somewhere out here. Um, conditions would suggest that as that center gets a little further out that uh, it, we could see some development, but the, the history of this has been uh, slow development all the way through, so it's hard to imagine um, this thing suddenly blowing up into a tropical storm, but you know what? You never know uh, with these sorts of things. Okay, so when we take a look at uh, the GFS model, I just want to take a look at this very fast today uh, as we have, uh, as far as our weather is concerned, um, we've got this um, high that's building down from the north, another one, and it's going to mean for a humid day ahead of it, ahead of a little weak weather front that comes through uh, this afternoon and evening, doesn't uh, have much with it other than clouds and maybe an isolated shower. Here's the depression. Here's the other tropical depression, the two of them here showing up on the map. Um, that high builds in tomorrow. We'll have slightly lower humidity and sunshine for Tuesday, and that's going to be followed by another weather front on Wednesday. Now we've got uh, the, the tropical depression that's in the Gulf of Mexico. You know, maybe at this point it's a tropical storm. Uh, the coastal Carolina low sort of weakens and then moves out. It's hard to follow here on how it plays. And then we've got this dry air mass that builds in for Thursday and Friday, which look like two really nice, cool days. Now, in the meantime, it takes this system and moves it northeast off the Carolina coast. Now, one of the differences is when we go into the Labor Day weekend, the European takes this as pretty much the same and then takes it straight east-northeast, which makes a lot of sense. The GFS has some sort of blocking that develops with this high enveloping around it so it, it, it turns it more northward and then eventually uh, just kind of weakens it as it moves further north which I suppose is not without not <clears throat> entirely out of the realm of possibility here but it's one of those long shot situations that um, you know it, it happens uh, very very rarely like that can't say it can't happen but I'm just gonna for now um, play that part of it down you know what, I'll just look at the upper flow real quick, and what you see is, let's get a wider picture here so you can take a look at the jet stream, um, and we will move this back. So it's the same idea here. We've got this northern jet, the east-west ridge that's been holding, and that northern jet just collapses as we go through the week, so we have a strengthening northwest to west flow, so it's hard to bring things up the eastern seaboard when you have a upper air like that. And then it kind of traps a, a little upper low off the southeast coast. So, uh, so this could be why it takes that uh, Gulf system and kind of swallow this thing, kind of swallows it up. I don't know how real that is because the European really doesn't have that view. And again, it would be a, a long shot, not an impossibility, but a long shot. Bottom line to me is that the weather looks rather tranquil, uh, other than up and down with temperatures and that nice cool shot toward the latter part of this week. Really no uh, severe weather, no big rains in sight, no soaking rains in sight. We are in another one of these long, dry stretches, and I'm not sure exactly when that long, dry stretch is going to end. So plan accordingly, as this is the last week of uh, 
summer technically going into Labor Day and, uh, and then of course everybody's back to school next week and meteorological autumn begins on Thursday, September 1st. Uh, astronomical autumn begins later in the month. Uh, those, those, those are two different things. Uh, don't forget a meteorologist, JoeChoppy.com, WeatherLongIsland.com, and SNS Storm Chasers for all your latest storm chasing needs.